What's up guys, it's Tommy here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect two Bluetooth speakers to your iPhone. This is a new feature introduced in iOS 13, and I do believe this feature can be useful in a variety of situations, which is why I'm sharing this with you guys. If you're hosting a party and it's indoors and outdoors, you can have one speaker indoors and the other outside, and it'll be playing the same song straight from your device simultaneously. Another thing you can do with this feature is connect two AirPods together and play the same song through both of them. You can also connect your AirPods and a speaker together as well. Having said that, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so all you're gonna need to do is go into settings and then go to Bluetooth and connect to both of the devices that you wanna connect to. As you see here, I have connected to these two Bluetooth speakers. Now since iOS 13 is still in beta, there is bugs and it did take me a little while to connect to both of them and have them working properly. A couple tricks that I would suggest doing is to go ahead and forget the device if it's not pairing correctly. Forget both of the devices that you want to connect to. Another suggestion would be to go ahead and kill any music apps that you have running in the background. But again, you still may run into some issues since we still are in beta. Just keep trying it and you will eventually get them connected together. You will know they're connected together by going into control center, hitting on music, and then click on this top right button. Once you have the bubbles available next to the speaker name, that means you can connect them together. Sometimes you will get one with the bubble, the other one will not have the bubble. That means they're not gonna be able to pair together. So we'll go ahead and click on the bubbles and you'll see two check marks, one by each speaker. And once you pick the audio that you want to play, you can go ahead and adjust the volume individually to each speaker, which is very, very cool. And I am extremely happy Apple went ahead and gave you the option to be able to do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an example of how it actually works by playing a song and showing you guys the speakers in action. So these are the two speakers we're going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and put this one outside and then leave this one inside and show you guys a real example of how this feature can be useful. All right guys so I just stepped outside and the speaker is right there and then the other speaker is inside like I said I was going to do. So here we have a song we're going to go ahead and play it. Three different baby days, but I so as you guys can see it's playing the song there and then if we go inside it'll be playing the same song through this little speaker right over here but yeah that basically sums up that example you can also see that I went ahead and changed the volume a bit. I made the one inside a little higher than the one outside since the one inside is a lot smaller. That's what she said. <laughs> really quick, I wanna show you guys that you can connect a speaker and the AirPods together as well. I disconnected one of the speakers so we're only connected to the larger one. And if we go ahead and uh, get our AirPods out, we can go ahead and connect to the AirPods as well and play them together. So we'll go ahead and connect to the AirPods and then then we'll start playing the song. We're gonna go ahead and turn down the volume a lot for this one. And then we'll go ahead and play a song. So you can hear the speaker in the background. We'll go ahead and turn it down some more. But you'll be able to hear the AirPods. But that sums up the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.